Virtual College is an established online training provider. The company has several apprentices working throughout the business following different apprenticeship programs. Throughout this mini-series, we have been following these apprentices as they experience what it is like to choose the apprenticeship path and the steps they take along the way. We have also been talking to their mentors and managers at Virtual College, who tell us why, just like many other businesses, they have decided to employ apprentices to support their business plans and the benefits apprentices bring in their hard work and enthusiasm. In this final episode, we catch up with the progress of Nathan and Megan, who we met in the first episodes, and introduce Ollie. So join us as we conclude our journey and see Apprentices in Action. When we last spoke to Nathan in episode one, he had only just started with Virtual College. As an IT apprentice, he helps to support the many and varied information technology demands of the organization. His theoretical learning is being complemented on a daily basis by a wide range of practical experience. Obviously when I first interviewed I'd just started so I was getting to know a lot of people and didn't really know much about it but now getting into it I'm learning the roots and as people say becoming part of the furniture almost. Yeah I feel a lot more confident because obviously you know how to deal with different situations that come up as well. You know getting all different jobs brought in by Jonathan and uh, well, yeah, being allowed to do lots of different things really, rather than just the same things every day. But a lot of it is networking because obviously we're such a big company and we're growing. You know, also how to deal with problems to a time scale as well because obviously when people are um, working on things you've got to get it done so that they can get back to work and get it done as quick as possible. Um, being at school, I struggled a bit but coming in here you can actually learn like on your course about out of the books and things but then you come into the company and actually deal with the situations first hand. Just coming into a workplace, I've done work experience and it was all just getting the jobs such as filing and all the stuff other people didn't want really and um, yeah I thought it was going to be something like that but obviously coming in and you're actually doing a proper job really, you're doing, you've got a proper role in the company. It's given me the qualifications to go on and get another job and you know, hopefully, if I do my job well enough here, I might get the opportunity to stay on. Ollie joined Virtual College straight from school, from the sixth form. He is now well underway with his business and administration apprenticeship programme and an integral part of the Virtual College team. I came into the apprenticeship straight from school. Uh, I was actually in year 13 when I left. Uh, I decided not to finish my A levels. Uh, I just felt a bit too pressured to actually um, go into university from there. So I decided to try something a bit different. There's a fair bit of practical training involved in the apprenticeships. Um, it's quite hands-on. Uh, there's learning whilst you're actually doing the job. Uh, I think it's a really good idea and it, it does help to improve your knowledge in certain things. It's not really what I thought an apprenticeship would be like. It's, I think it's quite hard to put your finger on what it would be like because it's seen as sort of quite a a practical thing is something you do if you are building or joining, something like that. In an office environment it seems a lot different, you're actually part of a team, and you don't get treated differently at all, you're, you're exactly the same as everyone else, but you're also able to learn whilst you're doing it. When I first started there was pretty much all of the time someone over my shoulder just making sure that I was obviously doing everything right and just while I was just getting to grips with everything. You know, I can go a full day without, without having any supervision now. I can just get on with whatever work it is I need to do. So the, the training is really good. Quite a bit of it is organising your time quite well and making sure that you, you've got enough time to do a certain job. If there's a deadline, for instance, I need to make sure that I'm doing it by that deadline but not putting off anything else, which might also be quite important. Uh, all of the learning is done online, skip stuff, and the assessor will come in every now and then to make sure that I'm getting on fine. Moving from school to work is quite a big transition. Um, f at school, I think you are you are actually monitored a lot more than you are at work, so it's a bit more of being an individual at work and getting on with your own work, and knowing what you need to do, and not not having to have someone tell you every day what you need to do. I've got, I don't really have many 
two two big ambitions. You know, I, I don't I don't want to plan my life out before before I've got there. Um, so at the end of it, I think I'm going to see what options are open to me once I've completed the apprenticeship. Megan started with Virtual College in October 2011 to undertake a business and administration apprenticeship. When we last spoke with her, she was 10 months into her programme. Since then, she has successfully graduated and is now employed by Virtual College. She currently works in a team that provides e-learning resources to social housing organisations. It feels like it's been like quite a long time that I've been apprenticed now. I also did my level two and then I graduated that and I've gone through my level three. Um, but yeah, I had to do obviously numerous tests and I had to do loads of you know work and things like that. So it's just nice to just get settled into a role now. I had a meeting with Chloe first and I think we sort of you know discussed what my options were for the future after I graduated. Um, I I said that I wanted to stay on. I think I was. She said once you've you know graduated you can stay on and be you know a member support administrator and there's also you know options of going further into account management and things like that. I just have more responsibilities and I have sort of my own accounts that I look after. I have my own uh, role within the team as well. I I don't regret the route I've gone down. I think it's right for me going to a business environment and um, you know getting started by doing an apprenticeship and you know getting into a job role I enjoy. I've got all my friends are at university um, and you know they're having a good time but it, I don't think it was right for me and um, yeah I've taken the right route definitely. Well I've done both for my level two I, um, I went to college and um, did my apprenticeship through then I went to college one day a week um, I I prefer the online route definitely. It's just so much more flexible. I've got my assessor, you know, on the telephone or on email. I've got um, all my uh, assessments there online. I could do them at home. I don't have to wait once a week and you know do my homework in between. If you know what I mean. Yeah, I'd say my ambitions for the future after I've you know I've done my apprenticeship and things would be you know stay in a stay working, stay in a job role I enjoy. Um, probably saving, you know, getting a house, things like that. You know, maybe going somewhere, you know, travelling, doing something different. Last year, over 600,000 people in the UK were undertaking apprenticeships, so there is no doubt that they are increasingly important to a large group of people. We hope you have enjoyed this short series and have found it useful in providing a flavour of what it is like to be or to employ an apprentice. Please contact us if you have any questions about hiring your own apprentice or enhancing your own delivery of apprenticeships. Next time, it might be you sharing the story.